welcome back guys to another youtube video and today we have another fast attachments video in my opinion so yeah so today we are using the groza this gun's the best ar in my opinion in the game so we have the attachments that i picked you have to run gunfighter you get three additional attachments to your primary weapon so that's pretty good and then you'll also need a salt pack because for more ammo. So for the Groza, we have everything. If you do not um, want a scope, I added scope. I added the thermal scope because I think it's better than range. But I have everything else right here. Now, it, you can go either or. You can go the big ground mag. You can go 40 or like the like the kind of like a lower mag but in my opinion you have to run the 40 round mag because the 50 round mag will lose a lot of speed so that's a problem and yeah so here we go so for the like the muzzle you have to go to this muzzle right here so pick that one and then go to barrel Use the 16.5. That one's the best out of all of these. Or, actually, yeah, use that one. And then for your body, you have to use the Steady Aim Laser. Pretty good laser. Under barrel, you have to go to the Bruiser Grip. Um, 40 round mag. For the handle, you gotta use this one. The grew elastic wrap, pretty good, and then you have the stock, the KGB pad, so that that's really good for our aim walking movement speed. And then if you look at the stats below, fire power, it's not that, it's pretty bad, pretty low, but speed, always about speed in this game and accuracy. But if you have those up a little bit, you're gonna be good in this game. So. I focused on speed and then a little bit of accuracy with the scope. So that's why I said you should run scope. And now we're going to go into the gameplay. Now we have the Groza. And I added we're some fast. teammates to our team. So hopefully this can work. So this Groza is pretty cool in game. I like the thermal. It's pretty good. It's like a three tap gun but if you do rapid it's pretty good look at it's pretty good gun i do like the thermal if you guys do not like the thermal you can add a different scope because the scope kind of matters for accuracy because if you don't have a scope it's, it's going to probably less accuracy so that's not going to help you when you like go in battle and multiplayer. Now the only problem about this gun is about the more like ammo. Because if you do the 40 round mag, you use a lot of ammo in my opinion. So you have to have the assault pack just in case if you're out of ammo. Or you can add um or you can actually use this perk, okay? It's called the scavenger pack um perk. And it's pretty good, because if you kill somebody, you can pick up their ammo. And, yeah, I think you guys should use that perk when you're using this gun. Because you use a lot of ammo. It's gonna be helpful. I, I really like the Groza. I think this is probably one of the best ARs in this game right now. But ne probably next season probably gonna be okay Five enemies removed. but you guys are seeing the gameplay it's pretty good long range you just got a long shot okay so now with this groza okay now we added the scavenger perk so let's see how it does with the scavenger perk on look you get a lot more ammo when you had the scavenger perk so make sure you use that guys. It's really helpful. So now we're gonna go rate this gun. 
Okay, so if I would have to rate this gun, the Groza, 1 out of 10, I would actually rate it a 9 out of 10. The only problem is about the ammo. But if you have Scavenger on, it's a pretty good gun. And the Assault Pack. So, that's the only problem. If you want to use the 50 round mag, you can. But you just look up here. Like, you lose, right here, you lose a lot of speed. Because, look, if I would just add it, look how much speed I would have now. That's not that much. So, if I were to add the 40 round mag, I get more speed. So, that's pretty good. I like the gun. It's pretty good. Hopefully, I think this might be one of my favorite ARs ever. So, thank you guys for watching this quick little video um, for the Grows. I wanted to do this a couple weeks ago, but I never had the time to do it. So, now I'm doing it before the season ends. Make sure to grind on the Battle Pass, because the Battle Pass ends in 5 days. And, yeah, if you're not tier 100, you're probably going to be out of luck. You won't get the, the Stitch skin. It's a pretty cool skin. So guys, see ya. Bye.